Hello, my name's Joe Flatman. Uh, I am Fellow of the Society of Antiquaries and this is a personal perspective. I uh, do not represent any organisation uh, in this short presentation. It's purely my observations uh, from having lived and worked as an archaeologist and broader heritage professional over about the last 20 years. Having read the manifesto, I do not disagree with any of its assessments, nor with its baseline principles. I offer here merely some suggestions on where I think uh, we as a society and archaeology as a broader community could or ought to go. At heart, I believe that we need to be quite radical and, dare I say it, quite brutal. We need to reset as a community our roots into archaeology, our networks across archaeology and our expectations of archaeology. We need to fundamentally reassess how about how we go about doing and crucially communicating archaeology. And we've really got to break down the barriers uh, that we have created within archaeology uh, and, and which are, are holding us back as a community. To use the analogy of archaeology as a mirror of the courtyard societies, which is something so much in all of our minds these days, this means a number of things. It means partnership, not just between archaeologists, but between, in particular, related disciplines of the humanities and sciences. Archaeology in this light serves as a remarkable uh, thread, a golden thread that brings communities together. And it is something we are simply not achieving often enough, that communication of how archaeology is shot through everything that everyone does, their lived experience. We need, therefore, far more interdisciplinary approaches in which we pluralise the term the environment. Um, there can be no longer separate cultural and natural environments in this world, be that how we manage sites, how we approach data, how we share that information. We have to get away fundamentally from, from just being obsessed about archaeology. Archaeologists need to do what we are fundamentally so good at doing, which is talk about people and places in that much broader way. And this therefore means a real focus on shared communications, really clear messaging around common themes that speak to people about the places that matter to them and the impacts that they experience. Climate change is one example. Rural communities on urbanisation and those different challenges that communities face in these spaces. Population change, these big fundamental issues that influence upon people's daily lives at a smaller individual basis and at that much bigger corporate basis. And we know archaeology is uniquely capable of talking about these very fine grain details and these very big picture stories in ways that meaningfully, meaningfully connect. So, so we know how to do this. We need to do more of it. We have to stop siloing and we must consolidate. We must accept change and within that loss, we must embed public value in all that we do and we must adapt to changing circumstances. I have two particular examples for you here. Firstly, we need to reconsider the nature of learning, particularly lifelong learning, how people are going about uh, um, exploring their pasts, their presents, their futures, their histories, how they engage with archaeology at lots of different life stages. We also need to therefore look at what it means to be part of voluntary sector communities and reassess how we get people engaged in the study of archaeology and the use of archaeology in various different ways. Now, many of these have analogies to journeys archaeology as a community have already been on. Nothing I'm saying here is particularly radical, I do not think, and I would suggest that there is much to be learned thinking again about the, the kind of, I suppose, the rescue, the campaigning zeal of communities in the 1970s. That sense of how we can work together to campaign for a broader cultural environmental benefit. So let's renew that spirit of cooperation 50 years later in the light of now that we all know in the, using the remarkable tools that we have, particularly the remarkable digital tools that we have and we can now harness. Let's redraw the landscape of archaeology, showing the full potential of its interdisciplinary, integrated approaches to the past, the present and the future places and spaces which people so value, which archaeology is so good at telling the stories of when we actually spend some time thinking about it.